Hi folks, Michael Robinson here, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Art. And for this episode, we're going to be talking about my original titled, Let Us Go Then, You and I. I'll tell you about the inspiration for that title in just a moment, but let's go over the piece. Let's start with this big energy flow here. Oh, it's got a lot going on here. It's got the Michael Robinson colors. Let's see if I can just bring this just a little bit closer there. You can see the close-up of it here. The energy flow, uh, it's just like... I was really fascinated by <clears throat> how this energy flows uh, throughout the universe. I'm a big spiritual person, so I'm trying to convey that, but there's like a hint. This isn't really an embryo, but it, th these three circles together are somewhat embryonic at the center of the universe or this galaxy, this energy flow. And this energy flow could represent the spirit world uh, trying to talk to us or us trying to talk to it. It's part of the, uh, I, I did this series, uh, the Spirits of Babylon series, which was really kind of uh, the instigation of it was COVID and the social distancing, and that's kind of an oxymoron. And I think it just sort of show that there's a deep division in our country, and these people are trying to communicate here. And this is what's going on. We're trying, uh, internally, we all want to, we talk to ourselves, we're trying to understand ourselves, but we're also trying to understand each other, or be understood and be loved for who we are. And so that's why there's always sparks here. There's always some kind of hope that we'll... We'll cross the chasm, the communication chasm, and understand each other and be accepted for who we really are. So I, part of this was, was you see how these characters are kind of coming down? It looks like it could be a stair. It's a staircase or maybe an escalator. So part of that comes from, uh, I was a reporter in Detroit, and I used to go to the Detroit Institute of the Art, and I would see the Diego Rivera uh, murals about work and mechanization and factories. And I was also thinking a little bit about Charlie Chaplin's famous black and white movie, Modern Times. It was a it was a comedy. Anyway, so these two are the main characters. Obviously, they keep popping up in, in this whole series of paintings. And these people are coming down the stairs. I put them to look like robes in a choir. I wanted to give, them, give this a little bit of an ecclesiastic feel to it, like almost church-like. Uh, here are the sparks of recognition. And up in here, let me put this a little bit closer, guys. I just decided to reinforce this idea of spirits out there, us looking at the world, the world looking down at us. There's a spirit here, just the outline, just the outline. And I could have gone crazy. I got a lot of paint colors at my disposal, but I just like the subtlety of having these guys just sort of looking down from above. Uh, that, that was really fun. And the infinity symbols, I think, are pretty much self-explanatory. What I'm trying to get about is the infinite loop of life and the universe, and the infinite possibilities of this universe and other universes. Now, I mentioned earlier I want to talk a little bit about the title. I'm a big T.S. Eliot fan. One of my favorite poems was when I read, I think it was a freshman in college, I hadn't even turned 18, and it was it's uh, the love song of Alfred, of J. Alfred Prufrock, and the opening line is, let us go then, you and I, and then it goes on to say, when the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. I didn't want to get that literal, but I did want to get to that point. Of it. Anyway, that's the story behind the painting. Let us go then, you and I. Michael Robinson here. Thanks again for joining me. These are a lot of fun to do. I love this painting. I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys like it too. If you're on Instagram, stop by and show us some love. Okay, Michael Robinson, over now. Bye-bye.